or I'm, we're lopsided. Hello again. Hello. I was some technical difficulties. All right, we're Are back. We straight -ish? We're straight-ish. We're straight-ish. All right. We'll figure it out. We got too much headroom up here. I feel like we got too much headroom up here. She is a genius. She is a genius. I just want to tell you that. Is that more That's better? That's why we hire the professionals. That is more better. Yes, it is. It is more better. So, welcome back. We are going to eventually get, which it won't matter anyway because we do these lives. But when you go back and watch the menopausal view, we're going to start editing these. Put a little jingle with it. Anywho, as Jen shows you her full-figured gorgeousness here, <laughs> you want me to uh, tell the people what they've won? You have to say, Jay, tell them what they've won. Jay, tell them what they've won. I am having trouble getting on here. This is starting to aggravate me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on just a minute, please. Okay. Well, I don't want it to be a bunch of dead air, so. Well, we're not dead air because they get to see my boobs. Well, then there's that. So, <laughs> you're welcome. You know, there's that. Um, Jennifer's trying to get on so that we can see your comments on over here. But like for I said, we're going to hire some, some help. I don't know. Anyway, um, we're going to play a game today. In un momento, we are going to play a game. There we and go. it's going to be called, um, oh, there we go. There we go. See, Monica there has go. joined us. Monica, hi, honey. Hi, Monica. That reminds me, Monica S.F. Williams. So Monica does this makeup. She sells makeup, but Monica also does some amazing makeup. Like I love watching her put on, like do her eye makeup. When I said she does her makeup really well, but I love her eye makeup. Like when I say she knocks it out of the park with the blending and, and this is not like, you know, She's not, she'll tell you, she's not a professional at this. She is not a makeup artist. She is just a little girl that likes to play in makeup like the rest of us. So, but she, it, go friend her because she does these lives all the time. And I just sit, I watch them all the time. She's pretty amazing. So go do that for me, please. Yes. Anywho, anywho's, we have winners. We're actually going to pick three winners because we love you guys so much and because we're nosy bitches. And like sometimes when you share our videos, we'll go and check out, make sure that you actually shared it. And then we'll find out something about you, something cool about you. Like, because we're looking, we're always watching. See, so when we take over the universe, just, uh, uh, just be okay with that. Just be okay with us. Yes, Big Brother's watching you, but it's us. So, you know. Anywho, <clears throat> are we picking winners now? Can I show the people what yes. they've won? Yes. All right. All righty. Here we go. So, four. Let's do this one first. So, this one here. We spare no expense on this show, first of all. Let me just say that out loud that like you will not find better quality gifts anywhere in the continental US. So this one says, this little pad here that you can attach your refrigerator has a $1 billion magnet attached to the back of this. It says, good friends don't let you do stupid things alone. True story. So our winner for this was, can you see it? Can you see it? Jacqueline Cox. So, Jackie, you are the lovely winner of this fantastic prize here. And how do you win a prize from us? You share the videos. You share the video. That's it. You share the video. Make sure you make it public so we can go back and check to make sure that you actually did it. And then you type shared on, under that video. And then that automatically enters you into win whatever we're giving away on that show. We always give something away on every show. So, and like I said, you want to hang on to these stuff like this because, and like maybe put it in a glass case so that when we become, when I become the white Ellen and she become, I mean, and she becomes, no, yeah, the, I'm going to be the black Ellen. I'm going to be the black Ellen. I can't be the white Ellen. There's already one of those. When I become the black Ellen, the black straight Ellen. <laughs> 
<laughs> she becomes. <laughs> <laughs> she becomes the white Oprah. <laughs> These thing, things like this will become worth one millionth dollars. So, going to get that right over to you, Jackie. Here you go, honey. It's all coming to you. <coughs> now we're doing <clears throat> the, <laughs> remember the last video where we did the heavy full figure membrane force eyelash to cream membrane. I don't know why there's so many. Whoever is in charge of branding with this company. First of all, they have a magical product. Let me just say that I've been wearing this mascara every day. It's been amazing. We need to contact them for sponsorship because we're really pushing this stuff here. Really? So, um, but anyway, it's makeup for season. That's what it says on the box, makeup, makeup for, for season. season. So the lovely winner of this is actually going to be Mary Lancaster. Mary, come on down. So you have won the mascara that we tried last week on the show. You are the lovely winner of that. Thank you so much for sharing our videos. Um, we love you. We love you a long time. And we kind of have one more special prize. We do. Um, we didn't do this on purpose, but we were trying to look at all the shares that we had and who shared and for and some, we're creepy. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> yeah. We wanted to know who our, who our fans are. So first of all, if you aren't sharing, if you, when you share, you have to say that you shared and we have to be able to find it on your page. Um, or it has to show up in our list because only certain people are showing up in our list and we're not sure why that is. Right. So you make sure that when you share the video, go under the video and say shared. That's it. Just to make sure that it's done. Right. And make sure that you're making it public so we can see it. So yes. we'll go back and check. So it has to be public. Yes. Um, I'm wondering if maybe the problem is, is that we're not friends with these people on our one of our private pages. That could be it too. There is a thing. No, because we're not friends with Elizabeth. Are you friends with Elizabeth? Mm -mm. Okay. But it, she showed it up on the, she shared it. It wasn't on the list, list that said yeah, shared, okay. but she said that she shared it. So what we did was we were looking for proof that it was shared. And um, I realized that one of our fans is a Wonder Woman fan. So since I totally get that. A little bit, a little bit, just a smidge. Just that smidge. much. Yep. I decided to pull one more name from just looking at her page when because she shared it. Um, I happen to have one more little thing. So um, Elizabeth Dorsey Ridenour. Ridenour. You are the lucky winner of. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. Wonder Woman koozie. Wonder Woman a can hugger. Told you we spare no expense. Zero expense has been has been spared. Zero. So you have won a Wonder Woman can koozie. So if you will please get in contact with us so that we can get your address so we can get this sent out to you. Right. And Jackie and Mary. Yes. Uh, Please get in touch with us so we can get your addresses too as well. Yes. Um, and we've already got some ladies over here who have shared us already. Grace Mahoney. Mahoney. Gracie. Monica Estep. Vic Monica. Victoria Narboro. Narboro. Victoria. Um, and Grace did it again. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love your enthusiasm, Gracie. Yes, you can share this as many times as you want. There you go, baby. Do it to it. How do you? Pew, pew. Pew, pew. I'm not as good at that as she is. She can also do that, make that sound with. I can't do like that. that. I can't do that either. You can't. I can't do that either. I'm just pretty. Lindsay's special joined skills. Us. Lindsay. Hello, Lindsay. Lindsay, do was Lindsay one of our winners? Lindsay was. Not. Lauren Liz. was one of our. Yeah, Lauren was one of ours. And so. John er, and Amber was our dress winner. Amber and Christine were our dress winners. Okay. Yes. So, um, 
We actually have some more of the dresses that we've uh, shown before by Esprilia. So if you are, if you share us, we can still add you to the, to the list for Esprilia um, for the dresses. True story. And the sizes, tell, tell them about the sizes, Jen. The, well, for this particular dress, it's a little weird. The sizing is a little off. Uh -huh. um, they go from 0X up to a 4X, which I'm thinking is about a size, um, one size off. So if you're a 2X, you'd probably want the 3X or the 4X, uh, depending on how much room you want, because it's more of a uh, bodycon type of dress. It's a tighter form-fitting kind of dress. Yes. So, um, so a OX is probably going to be probably like a medium, a size medium. Uh, so these dresses, we're going to auction that off to our uh, women that fit a large to say a 3X. But if you share the video, and so you can have your choice. You can either have the dress or you can have what we have behind door number two. There you go. Because you might not be a plus size or a large, and you may not uh, be able to fit the dress. So we're going to give you something, something magical, something magical for <laughs> sure. So you basically know? between the two of us, we will have something for we'll you. Have something, something. So we want to make sure that, you know, you are getting just as much out of viewing us as we get out of having you join yes. us in my kitchen and... You know, we could call this kitchen talk or something. This is our studio. <laughs> this is our studio. Studio time. <laughs> yep, there that is. So we're going to play a little game, and we have until 5 o'clock to play this game because we're going to keep it tight. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. Jocelyn is not going to. Is there a 5 o'clock yet? No, it's 441. It feels like 441 it's like, Eastern it Standard feels like Time. It's 10 o'clock already. It's been a long day. I know, it's been a very long day. Anyway, we're going to play a little game. We're going to play a little game. You guys feel free to join in. So Jen and I, I'm going to throw out these questions and then Jen and I are going to answer them. We're going to play a little game. A little game we like to call, Would You Rather? <clears throat> so, would you rather have lose all of your pictures or all of your money and valuables? Hello. I'm thinking. That's a really hard thing. Because I feel like I've lost all my valuables like 400,000 times now with all the 3,000 floods I've had. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I was most upset about losing was my artwork that I did my college, from college. So that was like, that was my, and all my pictures are saved in on the computers somewhere maybe so kind of i'd rather not lose my pictures i definitely not lose my pictures that's i've got pictures of children grandchildren me when i was skinny when i still when you can still see my clavicles mm -hmm. i want to be able to remember that you know <laughs> money you can make more money you can yeah. always replace things. You can't replace memories. So I'm going to go with that. I just, I feel like I lost so much and it was, it was very hard. It was a very hard time for me when I lost some of my more, not valuable, but hard to replace collectibles. Mm -hmm. That was, that was very hard for me. Yeah. But I would definitely yeah. not want to lose my pictures because pictures are, I got 46 years worth of pictures. And like sometimes I'll find pictures and I'll be like, oh. Like I've forgotten about that time or forgotten about that holiday or forgotten about that outfit or, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, pictures are, I love, I love old pictures. So. Monica agrees with us. She prefers pictures. Yes. Um, would you rather have <coughs> a horrible short-term memory or a horrible long-term memory? I don't have either one, so I'm screwed either way. I can't remember anything either way. What about you? I I don't have much of a short-term memory as it is now. Yeah. So I would have to say that I would much rather have what I have currently, which is horrible. <laughs> I'd like to... Jack, I'd like to keep what I have in box number one, please. 
I would, I would be, uh, I'd be happy to have one or the other. I have forgotten, I forget how to word most days. Because words are hard. We say that every episode, words are hard. You know, I, um, I was texting my doctor one day when I was really having a bad day. Mm -hmm. And I, I'd had like some kind of a form of a seizure. And I texted my doctor, I don't remember this. But I actually, evidently I texted mm -hmm. my doctor and I said, I just had a seizure. I can't word. <laughs> so, so words are really hard for me yeah. sometimes. Can't I word can't today. even word. I can't even word. Yeah. There it is. Next question. <coughs> Would you rather, and what do, our, what do our viewers say about that one? Monica says she forgets. Yes. So we're all going to. Just agree that we'd rather have what we currently are keeping hanging on to. <laughs> we'll just hold on menopause, to menopause, when I say it's like tabula rasa most days, yeah. Tabula. Like somebody asked me. What's tabula rasa? Tabula rasa means a blank slate. Use the blank, like every morning is a brand new day. Oh, kind of like 51st dates? Pretty much. Like somebody asked me this morning what I did yesterday. And I had to actually stop and think for 15 whole minutes. I'm like... I went to a baby shower for two hours out of 24. I'm like, I, I don't. There was a basketball game for a child of mine that took up another two hours. <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. So there that is. Anyway. So then, oh, next question. Would you rather be able to teleport anywhere or read minds? Well, personally, I don't care what people think. I used to. I used to be super uber concerned about what other people thought, especially mm -hmm. about me, because, you know, it's all about me. Mm -hmm. And now I just, it's none of my business, and I don't care. If they don't like me, it's, <laughs> it's their problem. Mm -hmm. So I would rather teleport, and I'd like to be able to teleport everywhere, all the time, all the time, all the time. All the time. Yeah. I want to be able to go everywhere. Yep. So I would teleport. Teleport in a heartbeat. I would choose teleporting also. I could give a damn what anybody else thinks, honestly. Monica it's... agrees. I think that's a menopausal thing. You kind of get to the point where you just, you don't give a flying. Well, you're like, wait a minute. Let me, let me check my bra. I might have some fucks in here. I don't. There's none left. Nope. Fresh out. There's. Fresh none out. left. Oops. Look, look. <laughs> Flew away. Last one. That was Gone. last one. Pew. Gone. Gone. So, yep, teleporting is in because I would teleport myself. Where would you go? This is off oh, topic. Where I would, would you go be, first? Like, where would, was the first place you Ireland. would go? Ireland is beautiful. I would, Ireland, Egypt, India, um, Scotland. Um, I'm going to Fiji. Uh, I'm going to Thailand. I'm going to Honduras. I'm going to... Um, where else would I like to go? I want to go to the the palace in England. Egypt. I'd like I want to. See I want to see the Brazil. I want to see the the Sphinx. Eleuthera, Eleuthera in the Bahamas. Eleuthera has pink sand and pineapples. Hmm, I could go there. Yeah, it's beauteous. I burn though, but maybe We're both with gonna pink, burn. Pink, pink sand. <clears throat> okay, so. Would you rather be able to, this is, still, this is another teleport question. We, we, you see a theme here. Would you rather be able to teleport 500 years into the past or 500? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you all right? <laughs> wig. It got into my mouth. I wasn't sure what was happening. You get what you get. See, we can't edit anything on these things, so you get what you get. Anyway, 500 years into the past or 500 years into the future. I don't know with our current administration. <laughs> If I want to go in the future at this point, normally I would say future, but at this point I'm not sure. I'm gonna say. I don't want to go. I don't want to go in the past. I know I don't want any parts of the past. I'm I'm fairly sure because number one, 
were female and I'm a woman of color. So that... I don't think I'd want to go to the past. I'm doubling down. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, I got to go to the future. I'm, I'm going to have to... Hedge cut. my bets. <laughs> Monica, my bets Monica says something. she just go to the past. Future scares the ish out of her. Yes, ma'am. I understand that. <coughs> yes, ma'am. The ma past kind of scares the ish out of her. <coughs> right. Excuse me for coughing. I have, I'm having reflux issues today. Would you rather have control over fire or water? Water. <laughs> Some house will quit flooding. <laughs> I'm going to say water, too, because water puts out fires. So, <laughs> it's kind of like the rock, paper, scissors thing. Water. You know? My mom jokes that, you know, I've actually had seven floods in my homes over the years. Seven. So, this is... Seven of them? Seven. That's amazing. So, my mom says that the only common denominator is me. So, we have decided that I obviously have this power with water. We just yes, got to figure yes. out how to control said power. You're like Aquawoman. I'm Aquawoman. I'm Mara. Is that Aquawoman's wife? Yes. Or, okay. I, you know, I did not know that. Mara. Mara. What is Mara? You're going to have to show me later on what Mara looks like. I don't... She's a, she has a hot tay. Is she a mermaid? Because I feel like she should be a mermaid. She's like him. She's like mer she's like him. She has legs and stuff. Okay. Alrighty. You learn something new every day. And red. You hair. listen to people. And a green outfit. And a green she's outfit. Hot. <laughs> the same. She's hot. Yep. Alrighty. So And she's got Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out that. December the nineteenth, but I'm not counting. Right. I'm gonna tell you something right now. If we ever become famous and somebody asks us to go on camera to do a scene with Jason Momoa. If he gets close enough to me, I'm slipping him some tongue. <laughs> so you can take that and you can do what you want to with it. But I'm just letting you all know that whatever you, if I get close enough to him, there will be tongue. There will be tongue. Tongue, just tongue, tongue. will be initiated. Just saying. You were warned. Um, <laughs> Next question, would you rather go back to age five with all of the knowledge that you now have, or would you rather have all of the knowledge now that you will gain from being your future self? Does that make sense? Yeah. So like, would you rather go back with all of the knowledge that you currently have in your head, which little overwhelming for a five-year-old um or would you rather right this minute know everything that you're gonna learn in the future i think i'd rather right this minute know everything i'm gonna know in the future because i was already weird as a five-year-old i would be even weirder as another true story i'm My just God. gonna throw that out there i'm already you know yeah i have i have grown into my weirdness now yes now we embrace it it's yeah. hard as a five-year-old when you're thinking outside the box yeah. Monica says she wishes she was five with the knowledge. Really? That is fascinating. You would be a savant. You'd be one of those. Uh, <coughs> you would be. You would be one D, of those. D says, T go back. Lord, take me back. <laughs> True story. And I also feel like I I am who I am because of who what I went through. So I would want to continue... I'm not saying that I'm the greatest person, but I feel like I am who I am mm -hmm. because of the things that I experienced yeah. from yeah. the age of, you know, three until now. Mm -hmm. So I think that it made me stronger and a better person because of it. Right. And let me just say this. I am effing brilliant right now. <laughs> My knowledge knows no bounds. So just think if I could build upon this with all of the knowledge that my magnificent brain will attain in the years to come. My head's going to explode. Hmm. Just saying. We can't have your head exploding. I need my partner. This is true. Okay. When I say we're going to bring this home right on schedule. I'm so impressed with this. I should get us a cookie or something. Why did you bring us cookies? Because I wasn't. I was swinging by, remember? Yeah, she was swinging yes. by. So wait, just so you know the swinging by thing. My mom dropped me off. She, I asked her to swing by and take me to the eye doctors the other mm -hmm. day because I needed uh, an eye exam and it was supposed to take like 10 minutes and 
possibly get new glasses. I already knew what glasses I was like. So I was going to take a five minute, you know, 10 minutes tops. Four hours later, she's yelling at me because we swung by. Mm -hmm. So Jocelyn calls me today and she's like, I'm going to swing by. Now I'm in my pajamas. I haven't cleaned the house. Don't care. And she's like, so I'm like, I got everything ready for her. She's swinging by and she's like, let's just do a show. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. So we swung by. How long ago was that? I don't know. Two, two and a half hours, something like that. It was a couple hours know. ago. So <laughs> that's how we swing. Because I came here without a wig. I came here without makeup, without anything. So, of course, Beg and Benny here had to be like, hey, by the way. But doesn't she look fabulous? Show, look at her. I think I pulled it together. She looks that's, that's courtesy of her, though, because like I said, see, when you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. <laughs> there you go. All right, next question is, would you be, rather be beautiful or handsome? Lucretia has joined us. Licorice, I hope that you watched the first video, darling. We called you out. Happy birthday to you. Um, would you rather be beautiful slash handsome and ridiculously stupid, or would you rather be ugly and super intelligent? I kind of think I'm kind of right in the middle already. I'm like a pretty kind of smart. So I don't think that like. This is an either or sister. Would you rather? Which one? Pull it. Pull the trigger. Pull it. Smart. Yeah. I'm going to go ugly and intelligent because when you're ugly and intelligent, you can figure out how to maneuver the outside stuff. Just saying. You know, there's that. But when you're beautiful and stupid, stupid, you don't, there's nothing to fix that. So, you know, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> would you rather, look at us, we got four whole minutes, four whole minutes. I need to cough again. Excuse me. <coughs> Thank Monica you. Monica agrees she would rather be ugly and smart. There you go. Um, cause see with enough money, <laughs> you become beautiful. Believe that. That's true. You see some of these dogs that end up with, uh, with, you know. Bajillionaires. Bajillionaires just because you are smart. So there you go. All right. So plus, you know what? Being a nice person, you don't have to be, I'd rather be pretty nice. or ugly or whatever. Just be a nice person. That's, that's what, that's what that makes, makes you beautiful. beautiful. Right. Exactly. I Can't agree. you tell? I mean, that's why we're gorgeous. Just Obviously, saying. Obviously, we are the nicest people Obviously, ever. we're super nice and we're not arrogant at all. But we you'll learn that when we take over the world. <clears throat> we are, we are, we're good people. Like, when we take over the world, you can just still, you can swing by the house. You just swing by for a couple hours. You're right. And you're like, hey, you know what? I think I feel like visiting the leaders of the world. I'm going to stop through. I'm in the neighborhood. I'm going to go ahead and stop through. Just yeah. send us a text. We're gonna we're gonna teleport there. There you go. Teleport. All right. So the next question says, "Would you rather know the history of every object that you touch, or would you rather be able to talk to animals?" I think that knowing the history of every object would be very cool. However, it could be kind of cray cray. I mean, like, what if somebody killed somebody with it, you know? And you, I wouldn't want to know that. Or would you? Unless I was trying to be a murder solver person. I really, think how many murders you could you could solve. I you could, could help people solve. I could, but I wouldn't talk to animals. I think I, I don't know. That one's a hard one. Because I, I want to talk to my cat. I do too. I want to talk, talk my to cat. my cat. I but do. I, I don't know. I think it would be kind of, you know, when we were writing these questions down, my answer was I wanted to talk to animals. But now I'm like, maybe I want to. Because you can see the benefit yeah. now of touching objects. Yeah. Like I maybe. I That's a hard one. Because we could have a whole show based on our on ability objects. to solve crime. Yeah. We wouldn't even have to, like, it wouldn't even be a thing. It'd be like, I know who did it. You'd be like, oh. This glass right here, oh, oh yes, this was used to poison Jane Doe's husband, Susie. Susie with the candlestick in, right. in the, candle in the library. The <laughs> right. So, I think that that's a win. I think that that's, so we're going with uh, 
You're going to go with objects? I still want to talk to my cat. Okay, so if you can talk to animals and I can do the the objects thing. I feel like we've got both things we've covered. We've got both co things covered, so we would be perfect. Because I'm not going to be like Artemis. Yeah. You say you don't like this brand of dry food. It gives you the runs. Right. Right. There you go. And then so, I can tell Mr. Look. Uh, mm -mm. Right. Mm -mm. Yep. Remember the paint? The paint on the walls. Yep. There you go. So, anywho, that's all we got for this segment because guess what time it is? Five o'clock on the nose. Look at ah! that. We are nailing life. We have goals, ladies. Top winning. 20 minutes, maybe 25. Winning. But we are cutting our segments down to bite sized pieces so that you are able to digest them appropriately. And don't forget to like our video and share it yes, for like and winning share. prizes. Make sure you like the page too. And the uh, YouTube page. And the YouTube page. Please, please, please go to our YouTube because we're going to be posting edited videos there. And we're also going to be posting some other videos that we're not putting on this page. So it'll be like a little treat. Like a little, you're like, you know, when you open up this page and you're like, <gasps> They're live, and then you get another little extra video, and then you're like, oh, surprise! It's like another little gift. And if and you then, post shared, yes, um, we will be registered for our next drawing. And don't forget to join us on Tuesday night. And we're also going to, when we post our our actually like our first YouTube video that we don't that we do together, that we don't post here as a live video. We are going to pick winners from just YouTube as well. So you can win over there. But you have to be a subscriber over there. Over there. Over there. Over there. So make sure that you subscribe. And then you can be put into the pot for some other priceless merchandise. Because <laughs> we're rich. Because we are rich. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, like and share. Share and like. Follow. What is it on YouTube? The Menopausal View. No, Same the, deal. What is it? You Subscribe. 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 Yes. So, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. And comment. Make sure you're talking to us on both pages because we talk back. Every, we talk back. No matter where you talk to us, there's not one comment. We might not be able to do it right now because we're talking. You know what I mean? Like, we got to, like, my brain... I can't do too much of this and this. That's why Jen reads the comments and then, you know, we try to react as much as we can. But after the show, we always go back and we shake hands with everybody in the audience that I has left a comment. I don't know always. about you, Jocelyn, but I kind of live for that. I do. I do. It's, it's, it's like my favorite thing in the world is to go back to the comments and, and read what people are writing and respond to them. <laughs> like one of our um, viewers... Um, actually posted pictures. She was going deer hunting yesterday morning and she said they didn't get any deer, but that they, she took a picture and she sent it. She, um, in one of our comment, in one of our little discussions there on the page, she actually posted a picture of her view and it was absolutely beautiful in the woods. So, um, thank you very much for that. If you are a recipient of one of our gifts and you have received yours or if you're receiving them, because I got them out a little bit late, my bad, my bad. Um, please thank you, Monica, so much for taking a picture with your mug. We loved we that. Loved it. The mug shot. That I loved everything. it. That was everything. Everything. She doesn't drink coffee. She drinks wine. <laughs> so she had her, her wine, her, her bottle of wine. Out of the uh, menopausal view cut. So thank you so much for sending us a photo of that. When you receive your merchandise, if you could take a picture of you in your merchandise and uh, send it to us and we'll post it on the page and shout you out um, because we love you guys and we so appreciate Like you guys have no idea how much we really, really appreciate you guys. Very much. Yes. Jen came on and did a video um or, you know, the latter part of last week, because I couldn't be here, um, where, she, her. where she thanked you guys. So I just want to come on, and I want to second that sentiment that 
we got we really love you guys and we love getting to know you guys as individuals too because just in talking to you we're making friends you know what i mean so um we we've come to expect talking to you guys like you know grace and monica and uh and pauline you know whenever she's here Laura, Lindsay, Lauren, mary mary all you guys all you we love you guys so much so thank you for you know letting us get to know you and supporting our little dream here. And um, yeah, so. So stay flabulous. Stay flabulous. That's it. Peace out. If I can get up. All right. Have a I, wonderful day. I think we might have.